Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna share with you my kawaii mini burger. These mini burgers will melt hearts and warm stomach. They are so teeny tiny cute and absolutely delicious. The buns is entirely homemade, soft and fluffy, while the burger patty is juicy and tender. And of course, no burger is truly complete without having a side of scrumptious fries. How about some sweet potato fries that caramelize on the outside and tender on the inside? I hope that you enjoy the recipe, so let's get started. First off, we will make our cute burger buns. You can make them using bun ring molds and they can be scaled to any size that you like. I found that this regular cupcake pan fits perfectly and easier to get. So grease the pan with generous amount of butter. And for the dough, simply combine the flour, instant yeast, sugar, and milk powder. I highly recommend adding the salt plus to make sure that it doesn't come into direct contact with the yeast. Then I will pour some water into the mixture. Ice water slows down the fermentation, so we have more time to decorate our lovely buns. Don't need the dough at this time. Just mix water and flour mixture until it forms a cohesive ball. And then cover and let the dough rest for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you can feel that the dough become more stretchy and pliable. Place the dough on the work surface, add in the butter, and we can start kneading the dough. You will notice that the dough is really sticky at this point. That's totally fine. Don't be tempted to add more flour to it. Just continue kneading until you get a smooth ball. If you can stretch the dough into a thin versus a membrane without breaking it, that means the gluten is well developed and your dough is done. Now it's time to divide the dough. There will be leftover dough for the details, some plain dough for the bear's ears, color a bit with dark brown for the eyes, nose, and mouth, and another pink for bear's lovely cheek. Cover all the dough in plastic wrap to prevent from drying out and let them rest for about 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, take one portion of the dough, flatten it with the palm of your hand to remove any air bubbles, then pull all the creases to the back. Place it on the work surface and then roll and shape it into a smooth ball. Continue with the rest though. Place the buns onto a greased cupcake pan. Cover it with a kitchen towel and let them half proof for about 20 to 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, you will see that the dough noticeably puffy and increase the volume 40 to 50 percent. If you see from the sides, the top of the dough is more or less parallel with the top surface of the pan. I will start adding the details now. Roll some plain dough for the bear's ears. And then the center of her face. Using some dark brown dough to create the inner part of the ears. Then add her tiny nose Two little eyes Her beautiful smile
And finally, a bit of pindo for her shy cheek. Hmm, so kawaii. While we're adding the details, the dough will continue to rise. So try to finish them as soon as possible. After finished with all the details, you can check whether the bun is full proof. If you press the dough, then the indentation slowly springs back halfway. That means the dough is well proof and ready to bake. Bake them in the pre 170 degrees Celsius oven. Turn on your alarm and check them out right after 10 minutes baking. You don't want to over bake it. If they are too dark, they won't look good on your burger. Once it's done, take it out from the pan and let it cool completely on a cooling rack. While our kitty is chilling out, we can continue with our sweet potato fries. Preheat your oven to 360 degrees Celsius. I prefer to leave the skin on because I love the extra texture and it's packed with vitamin A and fiber. And if you leave the skin on, make sure that you wash and scrub them well before you cutting or cooking it. Pat them dry. Is it up to you how chunky you want the fries to be? I like my sweet potato fries to be crispy. So as you can see, I cut them pretty thin. Well, it's a mini burger anyway. So don't you agree that the fries should be slimmer as well? And as for the seasoning, you can keep it simple or even add more flavors with spices. A pinch of curry powder, garlic, and cayenne pepper will be a nice touch. And before you toss the sweet potatoes with all the spices, whisk the egg whites until foamy, add a bit of vegetable oil, and coat the fries. This egg whites mixture acts as a binding agent, so all the spices will stick well to the fries. Then I will place the fries on a parchment lined baking sheet. Try not to overlap the fries for even baking. And bake them in the pre 200 degrees Celsius oven for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, flip the fries. Return to the oven and bake it for another 15 to 20 minutes. The browner they are, the crispier they will be. But if they get really dark, they will be a bit hard because of the natural sugar of the sweet potatoes caramelizing. Opens my fairy, so watch carefully. In the meanwhile, let's prepare our little patty. Simply season ground beef with all the ingredients. Mix really well and divide it into 6 patties. You can shape the patty with your hands. I prefer to use ring mold. It really helps me to make my burger look perfect like the ones you get in the restaurant. So, place one portion of ground beef inside the ring. Press the meat down. Make sure that it's spread evenly. Some people use a lid from jar as a mold. Just make sure that you find a lid that is slightly bigger than the size of your burger bun. And before you cook it, give a tampering indentation to the center of each patty. This will help the patty hold its shapes rather than swelling as it shrinks during cooking. So, over medium heat, cook for 2-3 to three minutes on each side. The best way to tell when it's done is by using a thermometer without splitting in the middle. And then, don't forget to fry some onion for the topping. Alright guys, finally, 
一三度的森林而卡哇伊迷你 burger。Besides tomato ketchup, one of the best condiment that I always use when making burger is this wasabi mayo. You can use either wasabi powder or paste. For me, it does taste pretty similar. If you are a wasabi lover, I promise it will taste really great. All the ingredients is well prepared. The patties, sharp cheddar cheese, tomatoes, onions, some lettuce, the sauce, and of course our adorable burger buns. And before we start to stack them, do you know that two burger with identical ingredients but different stack orders can result in two different tastes? And after a few experiment and testing, I decide to use the Burger King Whopper stack method as it produces more stable and flavorful burger. And to keep everything from falling apart, I create my own DIY toothpick so it is easier to grab and eat. It's not only make it even cuter. But also look more elegant and fancy. Okay, back to our Whopper Steak Burger. So cut half of your tiny buns. Place the juicy patty on top. Then a piece of sharp cheddar cheese, along with tomato ketchup, some grilled onion. A slice of tomato, a bunch of fresh lettuce, my beautiful wasabi sauce, ah, the cute teddy bear head, and finally, secure it with her pretty hair ribbon. Oh, look how cute they are! They look not only delicious, but also so sweet. I'm sure that everyone, and especially kids, we love it so much. They're perfect to serve up at a party. Or just a snack for your loved ones. And this healthy baked sweet potato is so tasty. I love it so much. It was the perfect combination of heat and sweet. And how about some cold beer for adults? Let's dig into it. Mmm, the buns is really soft with juicy patty inside and all delicious toppings and sauce. Mmm, so yummy! All right, guys, I hope that you give them a try. They are really a lot of fun to put together. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, guys. Love you all so so much. Bye everyone!